Ladies and gentlemen, I am Professor Fuminori Morias from Tokyo, Japan. I am talking today regarding the role of Riva package installed in Aprio I-800 for the evaluation of non-alcoholic steatohepatitis to cirrhosis. A liver package includes three abilities to measure characterization and quantification of the liver disorders. One is elasticity measurement using shear wave propagation speed. Second one is viscosity measurement using dispersion imaging technology. The third one is quantitative measurement using attenuation images. If you throw a small stone onto the pond, transverse waves arrive, arise and uh, propagate like this. Mechanical vibrator or ultrasound push pulse make shear wave in the liver. The propagation speed of shear wave is so slow as 1 to 10 meters per second. Therefore, propagation speed could be measured using compression wave like ultrasound because propagation speed is much higher than shear wave. This is the principle of transient elastography. Mechanical vibrator makes shear waves in the liver by pushing the skin of the intercostal space. Outer sound of M mode uh, traces the shear wave propagation and could measure their speed. In case of 2D ultrasound elastography, the shear waves can be produced using the strong push pulse seen in the left slide of this slide. The shear wave propagation is observed and measured quantitatively using 2D ultrasound. This is 2D ultrasound elastography imaging. Left side is color mapping of shear wave velocity. Using ROI, region of interest, average of the ROI is calculated. And right side slide is propagation mode. Manner of shear wave propagation is beautifully demonstrated. A small area pointed with uh, arrows indicated a little bit faster than the surrounding area. Using uh, the propagation mode, we can have uh, confidence in measuring shear wave velocity. This graph indicates correlation between transient elastography and 2D elastography. Good correlation between two methods is demonstrated. This is convert correlation between 2D ultrasound versus fiber scan. 10 to 15 percent increases are seen in fiber scan than 2D elastography, but very nice coordination is seen. Viva package is installed in Aprio AI800, that is, from shear wave propagation speed can tell us elasticity from dispersion imaging. Viscosity and attenuation imaging to steatosis. MRI elastography is now commercially available. Shear wave is provoked by mechanical vibrator in MRI. This is a uh, time this is the uh, 
time change of propagation speed measured patients suffering acute hepatitis B. In acute phase, the speed is highest and recovery phase normalized. The authors concluded that in this case, heightened propagation speed is coming from necro inflammation of the liver. From FOCT model, not only elasticity but viscosity affect on shear wave velocity. Measured shear wave velocity should be considered summation of elasticity and viscosity. How to measure viscosity dispersion technique? This graph shows correlation between elasticity and viscosity. Horizontal axis indicates frequency of shear wave. Vertical axis shear wave velocity. Shear wave velocity is dependent on viscosity and not on elasticity. Therefore, by using slope measurement, uh, brings us viscosity of the river. This is a case of measurement of shear wave velocity and viscosity. Left upper indicate propagation speed measurement and right lower indicates dispersion slope measurement. This is the uh, liver package uh, in April I-800. The steatosis also measured quantitatively by using attenuation imaging. This is a case of ATI measurement. In this case, attenuation is demonstrated as 1.02 decibel per centimeter per megahertz. ATI is very simple and brings quantitative information. Our data have been published in radiology in 2020. The atosis grade obtained from liver biopsy is well correlated with ATI data. Diagnosis of NASH can be diagnosed by evaluating histologic features such as steatosis, inflammation, ballooning, and fibrosis using liver biopsy. Currently, the non invasive measurement of advanced fibrosis in NAFRU D is based on. Ultrasound transient elastography, ultrasound 2D shear wave elastography, and MRI elastography too. Here I show the process of NASH. 25% of all population in Japan uh, suffered from liver steatosis, fatty liver, or NAFU. 10% of NAFO progress to NASH, and then liver cirrhosis. Finally, HCC would be seen and pass away. Therefore, it is important to pick up NASH from NAFRU when the fibrosis is very slight degree, I mean F1 stage. This is a slide indicating that not only steatosis but also inflammation, that means mononuclear cell infiltration and hepatocyte changes such as ballooning, a uh, pathological diagnosis of NASH. As the disease progresses, fibrosis is seen in the left lower slide. 
This fibrosis is mainly pericellular fibrosis that already bridging fibrosis is seen like this. So fibro fibrosis should be grade F2 to 3. Finally, thick fibrosis surrounding the pseudo nodule, nodule uh, lobulus and diagnosis should be cirrhosis. This slide indicating the process of pathophysiological changes seen in Nash River. Steatosis is mainly seen as NAFO in the beginning of Nash. After second hit, inflammation dis destroys hepatocyte and liver parenchyma in chronic hepatitis phase is dominant. Finally, fibrosis is severe and dominant changes of advanced NASH. This is the correlation between steatosis grade of liver biopsy and ATI data. We can see good correlation between pathology and ultrasound data. This is the correlation between inflammation grade versus dispersion slope. This is the correlation between fibrosis stage and shear wave speed. I show you a typical case of NASH. Uh, how about which stage of NASH in this case? Chief complaints is fatigability, sometimes. No alcoholic intake. Hypertension is treated antihypertensive pills. Body weight is 85 kilograms. Body circumference is 102 centimeters. Typical metabolic syndrome. Obesity is also seen as 32%. Grayscale image of the right side of the liver. HCC scar seen treated uh, TACE, T -A -C -E, and molecular targeted chemotherapy. How about liver parenchyma changes? Theatosis, or cirrhosis, uh, hepatorenal contrast, how about it? A little echogenic changes in the liver comparing with the kidney. How about cirrhotic nodular changes or how about blurring? The vascularity is seen very well. Contrast enhanced CT. Vascular imaging has higher contrast comparing with the, the liver parenchyma. Visceral fat is seen so much, and subcutaneous fat is also. From images, these images are fatty liver, NASH, or burnout NASH. Blood chemical changes exams indicate almost data except almost normal data except for glucose metabolism say nothing regarding degree of liver pathophysiological changes. This is the elastography data of this case. This is ATI measurement data. So this is the report uh, elastography from this patient. Radar chart is employed. 
I'd like to a little bit read a chart uh, in installed uh, April I 800. The data of the lower portion, the data uh, which was uh, published in radiology, as I told you. This data chart indicating the uh, ATI data from the lower part of the, this slide, uh, which was published in Radiology 2020. The cutoff value is employed for data chart. S1, S2, and S3. These cutoff values is uh, indicated like this. And second one is the share wave dispersion data. Uh, that means inflammation, I mean chronic hepatitis. Also, the uh, cutoff level is indicated the, the A1, activity 1, A2, a3, like this. And finally, share wave elastography, share wave speed, propagation speed, also cutoff value is indicating the radar chart. F1, F2 plus 3, and F4, cirrhosis. The cutoff value employed also uh, from the uh, published data. This slide shows the radar chart of the previous uh, case which I show you, showed you. And the, in this case, the shear wave dispersion, I mean, inflammation is still seen. And also the fibrosis is also strongly suggested from this uh, radar chart. So we can... This is the correlation in between pathophysiological process of the liver uh, disease, I mean NASH to cirrhosis. According to the process, the at first ATI indicate high values because of the fatty liver. And then the uh, inflammation is seen the second phase. And then finally, the uh, inflammation is not seen, but the fibrosis is severe. I mean, final stage of NASH, burnout NASH, I mean, cirrhosis. If the the pathophysiological changes uh, proceed in this disease. The first, the fatty liver, and then plus inflammation, and finally uh, fibrosis dominant. So, uh, in the uh, diagnosis process, uh, and uh, according to the progress of disease, the clockwise rotation is seen like this. And uh, uh, when the patient is treated uh, for NASH, the recovery with the treatment is seen like the anti-clockwise direction. And so in case of uh, ultrasound examination, you know that uh, no uh, disc is seen in the measurement and so we and not expensive comparing with uh, MR elastography we can do uh, every month or every three months we can do uh, elastography or measurement of uh, three uh, factors uh, by using this uh, ultrasound equipment. I can summarize my talk today. It is the first establishment of dispersion imaging 
in the world using a commercially available ultrasound equipment, Aprio I-800 from Canon Medical System. Now we can realize quantification both of viscosity and elasticity, which was awaited by clinicians and researchers. Dispersion imaging, shear wave speed, and attenuation imaging can non-invasive provide equipment information regarding the status of the liver parenchyma while avoiding the limitations of liver biopsy in the management of diffuse liver disease, especially NASH. Thank you very much for your kind attention.